So you're looking for a cordless, dry and wet vacuum for your car? Well, we're gonna put this vacuum to the test in this video coming right up. Hi, welcome to SIDS Tips. And yes, we are gonna put this vacuum to the test in my car. Looking forward to going to my car putting it to the test so we can try it out together. Yes, we're gonna have some fun together in this video. Now this was sent to me to put to the test, to try out, to share with you, and for me to see how well it works. I do have a corded vacuum, but it's nice that this is cordless. But being that they sent it to me, that's not going to change my opinion, and I'm gonna give you my unbiased opinion. But the proof's gonna be in the pudding when we go to my car. So before we do that, let me just share a few things about the vacuum, what's included, and then we'll go to my car. First of all, nice light vacuum. Uh, it is uh, powered with this plug. It does uh, take four hours of charging for about 30 minutes of usage. Uh, there is a little spot there that lights up red when charging and turns green when ready to go. Uh, it uh, is, uh, let me go ahead and turn it on. It's got this on and off switch here. And then you just turn on, turn off, and then this opens the front, and here you've got your HEPA filter. Now what's nice about what they've done is they've included two of them. So what you wanna do is make sure after you use it, the recommendation is to clean it. So one, it just helps it last longer, and then you could just swatch, swap off between the two filters, which is nice. So again, 30 minutes, that's a pretty decent amount of time. Uh, we'll see how my floor mats weren't so dirty, so I was really waiting for it to get somewhat dirty, so then we could put that to the test there. Uh, now, what else is included? Obviously, uh, you got the box. Now, if you are hoping that it came with some kind of case, I did notice right away there's no case, and I told the company, my suggestion is to put a case in for the future, but if you got a case for another one, or you got a bag, you could just put that in there, or just save the box and then just put that in the box. So, so again, you got your plug, you've got a second HEPA filter, you've got your hose, you've got the brush, and then if you have, uh, for those areas where you need to get into the crevices, you've got those tools as well, and everything goes in real nice. So in this case here, if you wanted to use the hose, what you would do is you would just put that in there, and then you could then just run that through there like that. And then you can, of course, you know, if you needed to, uh, see this is a, a neat little system. So you can actually uh, put one side there and we'll go ahead and get that in there. Let's see if we get that in there. All right, no worries, we will get that in. I uh, might have to go the other way, but let me see. I'm gonna keep pushing. All right, there we go, got it in. And then, so you can have a nice like setup like this if you need to. Uh, so a lot of different possibilities of ways that you could make this work. So that is what's included. And of course you get the instruction sheet and it's got that information. Uh, but again, one of the things to really make this vacuum last is again, when you are done using it is to open this up dump out the excess dirt, pull this out. It's got a little lever right there. Pull this out and then dump it off, wash it, and then you're good to go. It's gonna keep it lasting a lot longer. And uh, I never did that with my other vacuum, so I'm definitely uh, gonna make sure to do that with this one. So what we're gonna do now is go to my car. We're gonna put it to the test. I uh, do have uh, the floor mats to clean, and uh, then we'll, uh, also do a test with some liquid as well. All right, we'll see you at the car. Okay, so we're in my car. We're gonna do the driver's side first and then we'll do the passenger side. So here we go.
Okay. So the driver's side is done. Okay, now we're going to do the passenger side. And I find when using the, the brush, that uh, really helps. So we're going to go ahead and use the brush. There you go. So it seems to do a very good job. Now, granted, it, there's not a lot of dirt on here, but it's quick and it works very quickly and easily. So what I'm going to do is just dump out the dirt. I'm going to sp spray some water and we'll see how much it picks up. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the last test we're going to do, and I've been playing with it, I brought my carpet mat inside and we're going to do the water test. So I'm just going to spill some water in a dry part of the carpet and we're going to put it through the test because I think I was initially doing it wrong, but we're going to go ahead and get it wet a little bit here, as you can see. And I have also cleaned the vacuum. So now we're going to go ahead and see how much water it sucks up. doesn't seem like it's picking up water. Uh, it uh, just seems like it's moving it around. The carpet's still very wet, as you can see in my hand. I'm gonna try a little bit more. In fact, you can see it actually took some of the water off the mat. And Well, there you go. It looks like it doesn't really pick up liquids, uh, unfortunately, but it does do a good job with the dry aspect of the vacuum. And hopefully this part of the video has helped. If you really are looking for a cordless dry vacuum, this will do the trick. Unfortunately, it's not gonna do the trick when it comes to liquids. Let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.